Well, who likes to work outside in the heat? Imagine the kitchen. NBC5's Elena Barilla tells us why some North Country restaurants chose to close their doors today. It's a day for an ice cold drink and to sit in the AC. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's too hot and it's extremely hot in this kitchen. And as hot as it is outside, it's hotter in the kitchen at Best Friends Family Diner in Rouse's Point. I'm not going to work in this heat and I don't expect my my people to. I mean, they're like family to me. The restaurant won't be serving up anything. It wasn't a tough decision to make at all. I want to keep my people safe. I mean, if two, three of them or even one goes down sick, with heat exhaustion, I'd have to close anyway, so let's keep them safe. Grills, six burners going, an oven. We have two fryers that run at 350 degrees all day. Just intensify the heat. Very hot in here and the hoods are running. So you take the heat index outside with the humidity and the heat coming from all our equipment it is unbearable. Across the village at Angelo's Pizzeria. Everything is fresh. Closing for the day was an easy decision for them to make too. Anytime the kitchen goes over 105, you know, then you start getting concerned. Using the day for prep work and cleanup instead. When the temperatures get this high, it's very uncomfortable. You know, you have to think of your seat. Of your staff. Both restaurants plan to reopen again on Friday. It's not always about profits, you know. You, you have to take care of your people. In Rouse's Point, Elena Barilla, NBC5 News.